Once upon a time there was a boy. One day he was told a story by his parents, who he loved and trusted very much. They told him about a wonderful box. Inside the box was the most amazing reward anyone could ever have. A reward so wonderful that it cannot even be imagined. The boy could see the look of love on his parents' faces as they told him about this wonderful box. The boy wanted to open the box straight away, but his parents told him he couldn't. You can't open the box straight away, they told him. Opening the box too early stops you from getting all of the wonderful things inside it. While you wait, you should learn as much as you can about it. As he grew older, the boy did learn more about the box. He learned that he had to work to get the reward inside it, and that he would only get the reward if he did good things instead of bad things. It didn't take him long to realise that doing good things made him feel good, like a little reward. Sometimes he found it difficult to know if something was good or bad. When that happened, he felt as though the box would help him through his heart. When he got things wrong, his heart would feel sad, and when he got things right, his heart would feel happy. Sometimes he couldn't tell what his heart was telling him, so he would ask other people. He knew when he had found the right teacher with the right answer, because it would make him feel happy in his heart. Over the years, the boy met people who had boxes of their own. These people also said that they had the most wonderful box in the universe. It made sense that there would be enough boxes for everyone, but these people had different ideas of what was good and bad. Their boxes surely could not be real. The boy closed his eyes and asked for help to understand. After some time thinking, he realised that the others might not be listening to their hearts properly, or maybe they were listening to the wrong teachers. Excitedly, he asked his teachers about what he had learned, and they told him that he was right. He continued his life feeling good for doing good things and feeling bad when he did something wrong. He gave some of his pocket money to charity and helped people when they needed him. Sometimes he would think about those poor people who had the wrong boxes. How could he help them? He was sure that they were wrong but they didn't know it. Did they think he was wrong and didn't know it? He now enjoyed doing good things so much that he was happy to do them without getting the reward inside the box at all. He asked his parents if it would be okay to open the box as long as he promised not to tell anyone what was inside. He didn't think it would be too much to ask, but his parents told him that opening the box would be very wrong. Even thinking about opening the box was very wrong. If he opened it, then he would not get what was inside the box and everyone would be very angry with him. He felt bad for even thinking the box might not be real, and he said he was sorry. His parents forgave him. One day, one of his uncles visited. His uncle asked him, what's in the box? The boy started to tell his uncle about the box. As he did, he could feel his whole face light up with love. That's very interesting, said his uncle. How do you know? Pardon, said the boy. Has anyone ever looked in the box? No. Then how do you know what's in it? The boy thought for a minute. Then he said, My parents told me what is in the box. They wouldn't lie to me. People around me were also told by their parents what is in the box. We know this all the way back forever. That's how we know what's in the box. Shall we open it and have a look? asked his uncle. No, said the boy. There is no reward for people who open their boxes. Knowing the truth is enough for me, said his uncle. The boy also wanted to know if what he believed about the box was true, but the idea of opening the box felt wrong and it made him feel scared. It is wrong to open the box. Everyone will be angry. His uncle stood and rubbed his chin. I know, he said. You aren't allowed to open the box, right? That's right, said the boy. Is there a rule about not listening to the box? Not that I know of. His uncle left and then after a short time returned with the stethoscope. 
He slid it around on the box and listened. Hmm, interesting, he said, and handed the stethoscope over to the boy. The boy listened carefully and asked, What is it? It's quiet, said his uncle. Whatever is in the box isn't moving, or it would make a noise. Maybe it doesn't move, suggested the boy. His uncle rubbed his chin again. If we could see through the box without opening it, that wouldn't break the rules, would it? The boy thought. The answer in his heart was unclear, but he couldn't think of any reason why it would be wrong. I think it will be okay, he said. His uncle disappeared again, this time returning with a camera. This is a thermal camera, he said. If there is something in the box, it will look hot or cold, and we will see it on the camera. If we are lucky, we will even get to see the shape of what is inside. His uncle pointed the camera at the box and stared at the screen. Hmm, interesting, he said. The boy was excited. Everyone would surely be proud of him for learning all he could about the box without breaking the rules. What is it? he asked. It's not hot or cold, said his uncle. The boy felt sad that again he had learned nothing new about the box. He thought for a moment and said, Perhaps it is something that is the same heat as the box. His uncle smiled and said, I thought you might say that, so I brought some scales with me. Let's weigh everyone's boxes. If your box is different, then it will not weigh the same as the others. The boy agreed, and so they started to weigh everyone's boxes. Finally, the boy looked down at his own box, and then slowly lifted it onto the scales. That's odd, said the boy. What is? asked the uncle. It weighs the same as all the others. I've learned nothing. The boy was confused. He knew that if one of the boxes was different, then it should be easy to find which one it was, but they all seemed to be the same. He also knew that if all of the boxes were the same, then everyone would think the same things are good or bad, but that's not what was happening. He thought back to the lessons of his teachers. They had said, perhaps all of the boxes are real, but nobody understands their boxes properly except for us. He thought of the other people with boxes of their own. When had their teachers started to get things wrong, and why hadn't they noticed? He wondered, how can we be sure anyone is right? Suddenly he felt scared. He tried to push his thoughts to the back of his mind so that he wouldn't have to think about them. Open the box, said his uncle, smiling softly. No, said the boy. Is it important to know what is real? asked his uncle. Yes. Why do people feel different things are good or bad? Why should anyone be angry with you for wanting to check if things are real? asked his uncle. Think for yourself. Open the box and learn. I believe I already know the truth, said the boy. You believe you can't open the box. You believe you can't even think about opening the box, said his uncle. I'm not saying your parents are liars. Sometimes people just get things wrong. When people get something a little wrong, and then their children get it a little bit more wrong, and so on, you end up with something that is very wrong. In the end, you get lots of people with lots of different ideas that are all wrong. You thought you learnt nothing about your box. Really, you learn lots about it. What is inside doesn't move, it isn't hot or cold, and it doesn't weigh anything. You have learned that your box is just the same as an empty box. Open your box and find the truth. The boy leaned forward and held the lid of the box. He was scared, but he wanted the truth. He knew far too much about the box to stop now. He wanted to know everything about the box. He slowly peeled open the lid and looked inside. And there was nothing. The boy waited for something awful to happen, but nothing did. Had he wasted his life believing there was a reward in an empty box? What would he do now? Was there anything to do in life other than working hard to earn his reward? His life felt as empty as the box. Then he remembered the little lost girl he had once found in the park. She had been so afraid and was crying. He remembered how happy her mother was when he took her back. He remembered how good it felt, 
helping them already felt like a reward, he was still glad he had done it. He thought of the orphans in poor countries who he sends his pocket money to. There are so many children in poor countries, was there any reason to help only a few of them? He still wanted to help them. In his heart he felt it was the right thing to do. But why? Shall I tell you the truth? asked his uncle. What is it? asked the boy. The truth is that you are a lovely and kind boy. You help people because they needed someone to help them, not because you wanted a reward. The truth is, is that there was only ever you with your full heart and an empty box. To whom it may concern. When you open your box, you prove yourself worthy of receiving the truth. The truth is that you have been given an amazing gift, the gift of life without the need for a box. You are free to give to charity for the benefit of those you help rather than because you think you will be rewarded. You are free to refrain from evil because you are a good person rather than because you are scared of punishment. And you are free to entertain any idea without the fear that someone or something is listening to your every thought. Your body is a unique configuration of atoms borrowed from the universe for a very short time. One day those atoms will be returned so that others may exist after you. Do not waste this brief opportunity following boxes of empty promises. Explore your amazing life. Open your box.